Hey, how's it going? You're watching The Trash Stash, and I am Danny B. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, a couple of uh, vigilante movies I got. This is like a small collection. Uh, but the first one that I want to talk about is the obvious choice, which is Death Wish. And uh, this is a classic, Charles Bronson. You know, they, um, they kill his family and do more than that, but... Uh, I won't give away spoilers, but uh, it's all because Jeff Goldblum uh, does it to his family, and then he's kind of a, a liberal guy. He's an architect, and he doesn't believe in violence, but um, this happens to his family, and uh, he wants revenge, and uh, he goes out killing anyone that kind of resembles who he thinks might have done it. And this isn't an action movie. This is more of a um, drama story. Uh, but yeah. So that's that. And it's pretty good. But uh, I prefer the sequels. Two and three are my favorite. Uh, two is pretty much a retelling of the uh, first one. Except it's way more going for like entertainment value. And part three is extremely just over the top ridiculous and part four is pretty good too uh that's where he takes down the mob and um part five it's been a long time since i've seen it i don't remember it very much i don't think it was that good but i gotta get it just to check it out because i forget uh so now the next one that i want to talk about I saw this thing when I was 10 years old, and it freaked the fucking shit out of me. The Exterminator. <laughs> and, um, I think my parents thought this was just, like, a run-of-the-mill action movie. <laughs> but, so I, I rented it when I was 10 years old, and this is, like, the most violent shit ever. He's putting people in meat grinders and <laughs> shit. It fucking traumatized me. And I, I didn't watch it for years. For, I want to say 20 years. I, I got this thing, you know, a couple months. Uh, I just ordered it on Blu-ray. And it's awesome. I love it. Uh, and let's see what else. Including The Exterminator. I ordered this 8-pack thing. There's a couple vigilante movies. But um, they got The Exterminator Part 2. And then that is... Uh, uh, more of an action movie than the first one is. This is more like, kind of like Death Wish meets Taxi Driver. And uh, this one is just like an action movie where <laughs> it's like bad guys throwing up a X and just ridiculous, like Mad Max type of bad guys. And uh, he's running around, he has a friend that has a, a garbage truck and they put a snow plow on it and running into the bad guy's building and it's ridiculous but it's fun and I love the music in it alright next we got Vigilante and this is the fucking shit I love this this is from the director of uh, Maniac and Maniac Cop this is William Lustig and um, he did a great Vigilante movie about um, uh, Robert Forster who was in uh, Jackie Brown and a bunch of other stuff from the 70s and 80s. And uh, you got Fred Williamson in here, the hammer, from, um, what was he in? He's in a bunch of stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, this movie's cool. Uh, it's, it's basically just, uh, these are the bad guys on the cover. This isn't the good guys. Let's see who we got. These are the good guys right here. So, uh, I won't give away too much spoilers, but it's the same thing. This family gets messed up, and he goes out for revenge. And there's uh, other people patrolling the neighborhood, too. Uh, after that, you get... Let's see what else I got. Fear City. This movie is fucking awesome. This is uh, Abel Ferrara, who did The Driller Killer, and one other that I'm going to talk about pretty soon. Uh, this, guy, this is um, Tom Berenger is uh, Tom Berger and his brother are both like 
kind of mafioso uh they run a stripper agency and then this is the stripper or i mean this is his girlfriend who is a stripper and uh this is the cop billy d williams and he hates them but there's a psycho running around um killing the strippers and the guy is a karate master <laughs> He's like taking him out with karate moves. Also, uh, Ray Don Chong is in it, and she gets messed up by the killer. And um, basically, these guys are out looking for revenge, and he's trying to stop them because he hates them. But uh, you know, I w if I give away too much, it's just an awesome movie. Check it out. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Classic. The Punisher with Dolph Lundgren. Any of the Punisher movies are cool, but I especially like this one because I grew up with this one. Uh, pretty 80s. I, I don't know if this came out before Batman or after the original Batman movie. Let's see. 89, so basically the same year. And I think they're trying to do maybe the same thing where they give it kind of a dark, realistic type of feel. Like, he doesn't even have the skull on his shirt because they're trying to make it less comic booky, comic bookish. But yeah, it's cool. It's not for everyone. Some people really hate it. I like it. Uh, let's see what we got. Savage Streets. And this movie is one of the sleaziest films I've ever seen, but it's awesome. So you got these guys, uh, typical... Uh, Actually, not typical. They're they're a little bit three dimensional. Like they got um, a little bit m like more of an emotional range than most uh, movies got for bad guys. But they're pieces of shit. They uh, rape this one girl, and it's they actually they rape her sister, and uh, she's going out with a crossbow trying to get him. And uh, this is from the director of um, Friday the 13th Part 5. So it has kind of like that same same type of like sleazy feel that that movie had. But it's, it's the shit. I, next I got Out on Bail with Robert Ginty who played the Exterminator. I had never heard of this. I ordered it on eBay and it was awesome. It's uh, This guy's a convict. Oh no, he's a drifter, and uh, he gets arrested in this small town. They let him out on bail, and then uh, he goes to a diner, and a guy shoots up the entire diner and runs off with some money, and then he gets it. And then now the entire uh, corrupt police department is after him, and he fucks their shit up. Uh, next we got another one with Robert Ginty. Vietnam, Texas, and uh, I have not watched this one yet, but it looks cool. The trailer looked good, and I want to check it out. Uh, next, we got Falling Down. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd call this vigilante as much as this is just some guy going berserk. It's kind of he's kind of like out for his own causes, though, like. He goes to order a breakfast at a um, fast food place and they don't give it to him. And then he does what he thinks is right and shoots up the... I know he doesn't shoot up the place, but he pulls a gun and like demands that they serve breakfast after 11 o'clock. And... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this is the Death Wish sequels. I just got them on Blu-ray too. Oh. Um, Next, we got another one by Abel Ferrara. That's Miss 45. And this movie is awesome. This is, um... This mute girl gets raped twice in one day. And then... The second guy, she kills him while he's raping her. And then he, she chops up his body and starts throwing it into trash cans. And she steals his gun and then goes after other pieces of shit. And, uh, I won't, you know, I didn't give away the whole movie right there. There's more to it, but check it out. Uh, 
then we got the classic taxi driver. You know, this is taxi driver who, um, he's, I don't know if he's schizophrenic or if he's just, comp yeah, I think that is it. He's, he, he slowly starts going schizophrenic and, uh, yeah, he's just nuts, and then he he's trying to take care of a um, young prostitute, but uh, he just goes psycho at the end. And then, last, I got one that's it's kind of bizarre. You talking to me? You talking to me? This is a movie about a guy who's obsessed with Taxi Driver. And this is one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen, where uh, a guy, he's, he's an actor who's obsessed with Taxi Driver, and what happens? He, he makes friends with the, this billionaire guy, but the billionaire guy turns out to be racist, and he freaks out because a black guy is on a, a billboard for milk. And the guy's like obsessed with milk. And. And then the guy who he wants killed because he's on the billboard is friends with this guy. So this guy is in a dilemma and <laughs> has to decide uh, whether or not to, to kill the billionaire. Yeah, I don't know. It's been, you know, probably 10 years since I watched this thing, but it was crazy. So that's that. Uh, let me know which ones out of these you've seen. Which ones you like best. Alright, this is the Trash Dash. I'm Danny B. Behind the camera because I'm uh, a little bit sick right now. But subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the like button. I'm going to be doing some more videos like this and probably higher production soon. Uh, yeah. Let me know if you want any top tens, any ranking videos, horror movies, all that shit. Alright. See you guys.